Hi, Mumbai. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Anurag, he is Mumbai for our DevOps for our developer. Hey. Hi, Mumbai. Uh, Hi. You guys can tell us this. We are recording this session, okay? Yeah, sure. Um, but since we have less time, yes. we'll get right into. It. Yeah. So, please, um, uh, uh, let me know what does a git fetch do? Sorry, sir. Ah, uh, can you please let me know what does git fetch do? Okay, git fetch actually it's a kind of a tool like uh, which we can use in our GitHub or Git. So by using that actually we can fetch from the remote rep remote repository to a local repository, but that is not going to change our current directory. Okay. So do you get any merge conflict when you do a git fetch? Uh, no, actually our seniors only doing that kind of activity, but I know the concept and all like uh, what's a merge. Yes, please. So while uh, while you do a git fetch, do you encounter any merge conflict? Uh, as far as I know, no. Okay. So how does it differ from uh, a git pull? Git pull like uh, that is going to do two activity. One is a fetch, another one is merge. That is going to merge our like uh, our current directory as well. So whatever the change actually we done, that also will be operated. So that's a problem. So better we can use git fetch every time. So, Mohammed, you say that you know your your seniors generally they take care of such activities, yes. right? So, what does your day to day work look like? Day to day work actually that that is also depending upon the requirement. Like uh, yesterday, actually we had a requirement. Like actually uh, we have to create a Jenkins SSO single signing on. So we created a new cluster. So for that, actually we have to create a new single signing on. So we created a Jenkins SSO for. See, basically I don't know how to create this SSO and I don't know what is the SAML based authentication or not. But I have to learn that then I have to do successfully. Yesterday itself I done that. So today actually we have a meeting, so I need to present that as well. Yes, and uh, and apart from that, like uh, uh, last week, actually we had a deployment. So I created a deployment file and services for that, like a cluster IP. And my team leader, I, he created ingress rules and all. Okay. So is this your first production grade application that you are developing in your current project? Um, mm, no, not like that. Uh, before also I have done. Okay. Yes. So, how good are you with uh, Python? Python, like uh, in AWS, I done small kind of project. Like, uh, see, actually we have uh, some set of legacy systems, like legacy bare metal devices, like EC2 machines. So we need to reboot this whole system. So when we done the patching, so we used to do that manually. So I created a script for that. Actually, referred through Stack Overflow and uh, like a Chat GPT, this kind of tool. Then I found it and I created a Lambda like automation tool. So whenever it come to the maintenance window, automatically it will reboot all the system. So whichever is already in patching. <coughs> Mohammed, I really like your honesty, man. Huh. Really impressive, yeah. And one more thing, like so, sir, like uh, see, actually we supposed mm -hmm. to find like mm -hmm. unused EBS volume. Already there are a lot of videos available in YouTube, and I just found it, and uh, that also I done. We, we can find unused EBS volume, so that also I done. And uh, and as well as whenever like a user creating S3 bucket, so we need to make it make ensure. So we need to like uh, uh, we need to enable the version to for the security purpose. So actually what I done over here, so I we, so already we have a cloud trail. So the, the request will come from the cloud trail and it will come to CloudWatch. From cloud from CloudWatch, so we can create an event. So I created an event, then I created a trigger for Lambda. So this Lambda, what it can be doing, like if the user is not enabled the version, so it will enable the version. If it is already enabled, so it will skip the option, like it will skip that. So that also I created. So Mohammed, uh, may I know, why are you looking for uh a job switch currently since you have a project already already have a project but the thing is i'm looking for a good salary and as well as like a career growth and here actually only getting like a small kind of activity so rest everything will be take care of our, like a seniors and all so i thought okay last, since last three years i'm working this company so i could have a change that's what only oh you're working since three years correct, okay. correct. in your current account got it right so mohammed uh, have you worked uh, with gitlab anytime 
GitLab I didn't buy, but by using GitLab actually we can do CI/CD pipeline as well. So that I know, but I didn't work with the GitLab. GitLab. Okay. Got it. Got it. So, Mohammad, uh, how do you rate yourself uh, from a scale of zero to ten on your uh, skills with you know shell scripting? Shell scripting, like uh, see, now I'm learning shell script. Okay, you see, I have a logic and all because like uh, during my uh, graduation, like a B Tech, so that time I was learning Python. So that's what I have a good logic to create like a uh, uh, missing numbers and everything. I know because I was creating some application as well. So myself, okay, so that's what I have a logic. So now I need to create the components like uh, how like how the if condition is working, how case condition working, how for loop is working. Like uh, that syntax, I, I just want to learn. So rest of everything I have. So st still today also I'm learning that like morning itself shell scripting. So how to accept a input okay. from the user and how to create a variable, how to assign that variable into that. And I was learning that. And as well as how we can cut a string by using AWK, SCD commands. We can use cut command. So I was using to find it because actually. So in our organization, actually, we need we have a one bulk file. So we need to take one particular word from that. I think uh, that actually coming in fifth row and around forty fifth line. So that actually we have to find. Then we have to check whether it is active or active or deactive. So for that, uh, um, I use it to find out like this kind of things. Correct. Right. So yeah, Mohammad, uh, let me print out the. Huh. Input and output in chat. Uh -huh. Say I have a file. Okay. Uh -huh. In that, there could be any number of lines. It could be, for sample, I've given you three lines. Okay. So it could be thousand lines, ten thousand mm -hmm. lines. So, say each field there. If you see in just the first line, it's separated by white space. And our requirement is that if you encounter this pi pi, mm -hmm. right, in your in any of your line, only those lines you will pick them up. And your first two fields, if you see the first field, it's a package, and the second field it's a version number. So you are going to, you know, concatenate those two with a double equal to double equal to, okay. So. Please ask me if the question is not clear to you. Like uh, the first thing I got, like uh, so we have a total three lines. So it might be how like uh, we have a one billion lines as well, no problem. So first right. is a pa uh, first is a pandas and numpy and cherry red. So in pandas actually we have a specific word pi pi. Same as in numpy also we have a specific word pi pi. But in cherry right. red actually we don't have that uh, particular word. So we right. only need to find so which which line is containing pi pi, right? That that, no. that was the first question. Mom. What I think I lost you. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. I think I lost you in between for uh, uh, ten seconds. Uh, so the first yeah. question, the first question was so we have to find so which uh, mm -hmm. which line is containing pi pi. Right. Okay. What was the second sir question? So once you find pi pi, only those lines are going to be in your output, and that too, not every single field in your input. Is going to be just the first field and the second field, concatenated by double equal to, oh. equal to equal to. Okay, so we need to merge pandas. You are and going to, oh. yeah, you are going to concatenate pandas followed by the version, okay. and in the second line, numpy followed by its corresponding version. You mm -hmm. concatenate it with a double equal to, and you output to some file, say requirements or txt. Okay, okay, good. So, mm -hmm. can you, yeah, give me the command. A Linux command, right? To achieve this, first try it on your own. Hmm. If you are not able to, then let me know. Yeah, I'll give you some hints or help. Okay, okay. So, like, uh, so first, what we can do here, like the pipe actually that is coming after one space. So that's what uh, here actually we can use like a, a AWK command. So by using AWK command, actually we can specify the field editor minus of. Then we can put one space over because what the, whatever the space we putting after space it will cut. Okay, then after we can, uh, then after we can create a if condition like uh, uh, so after one two three. Okay, so we what we can do here we can print third value because see in this uh, two lanes so see, sequential sequentially it is coming after third word is pi pi. So I am expecting every th every every uh, like uh, lines. So this pi pi will be third word. So I am expecting like that. Okay. Okay. 
so uh, we can use a w k space minus f then as a field editor we can put space like uh, double, double quotes we can put then space then we will use like uh, one single quotes then uh, curly braces interpolation we will open print then dollar three i will use so this pi pay will print so then we will go to one for loop then we will take an i value like a pi pay or else we can create a list before then we can add this pi pay whatever the third value is coming we can add it to one list then we can use a for loop we can take the i value so first we will take the first line word then we will take the second like line word so then we can use a if condition if i in like this i is present in that particular uh, like i is equal to we can use like a pi pi if this particular word is presenting on that list so then we will append or else we will uh, pass this so that we can do okay can you share your screen and okay, sure. write the command sure sure Sir, I'm not sure about the syntax, but I actually, I can give the logic. I can give. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. You can just call me Anurag. Sorry, sir. You can just call me Anurag. Okay. So I hope you can see that uh, screen now, right, sir? Uh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sir, actually here I actually have some doubt like uh, how to take each value that I have some doubt. So, Muhammad, uh, if you see right, you are, go you are outputting the third field, right? Ah, third field. Once yes. you are outputting the third field, but you don't want to output the third field, right? You are just checking if that is present. Okay. So, to find if some particular character is present right or string it's present hmm. what do you use so uh, do, we do can you have use command for it? Uh, equal to equal to we can use like if that present if i in have you heard of grep ah uh, grep i heard sir right okay so i think uh, can't but then we can specify dot txt So I'm taking in case sensitive as well, like if any capital P or like
like uh, now you can use your uh, awk command okay now you can use but now i'm learning this shell script that's what i have some confusion on it yeah hmm. yeah it's okay it's hmm. okay but i can yeah. make it up so like within a week i can make it up but so that's what right hmm. correct correct hmm. so what is your uh, so total experience uh, mohammad like a uh, relevant experience in devos 1.5 initially i joined as an oc engineer so total 3 years correct correct Yeah. So any other scripting language? Uh, so you said you are learning also Python, right? Python, Python. I'm learning now. Python yeah. and shell script. Mm. Got it. Got it. Okay. And Java. Previously, I done a small kind of project like calculator and small small applications like two uh, D applications and all that. Done by using Java in my graduation time. Got it. Got it. So your graduation is in uh, computer science. Computer science. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. I think do you have any questions for me uh Mohammed? Uh like uh, what would the designation on sir like uh, if you suppose if you hiring on that position like what would the designation and all? So it could be a junior uh, devops engineer. Okay. Or like yeah, uh, if you if you get selected. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Like is a python is a mandatory or not like uh, so as a junior So some some scripting it's uh, good to have okay like if you are good with shell scripting okay. it's fine mm. or if you are good with python that's also good okay okay got it got it but yeah at least one scripting mm. okay okay yeah. it's it's a card for the job mm. yeah got it got it that's it thank you so much mm. man thank yeah. you so much mm. really appreciate your time thank you so much ഓയ്യോ ഇയാൾ രാവിലെ തന്നെ സമയം കളാൻ വന്നിക്കുക